Welcome to the session of Durga Software Solutions Easy English. And I heartfully welcome you all. Before that, I would like to ask you how are you doing? I hope you are really doing good. And today we have something to discuss on the board that is the definite article D. In our previous sessions, we have discussed about the articles, I mean the types of articles and in indefinite articles and today we are going to discuss about the definite article okay and see we know that the is a quite common word that we usually use in our daily language and we also know very well that even right from the small child onwards still the young person or an old person we tend to take the help of the in most of our sentences is it not yes and we also should understand that nowadays in the competitive examinations this the has taken a prominent role especially at the time of competitive examinations usage of the the has become a major thing for us okay it has it has become a major part so it is very important for us to identify the in terms of competitive examinations that too especially at uh, in the topic called articles we come across with the usages of the so students here we are provided with the different usages of the respective word the and here we call the here as a definite article because it defines something it defines a specific person or a thing so we call it as a definite article and i hope we have already discussed about it in our previous classes and now let us understand the rules of the one after the other in a clear manner all right students okay so this is my first rule the is used to refer something which has already been mentioned to refer something which has already been mentioned okay so what do you mean by this to refer something which has already been mentioned see i'm going to show you one example on monday on monday person took 500 dollars or i say 500 rupees without permission without permission okay on monday a person took 500 rupees without permission so i can say that instead of person for clear understanding i can say that this is an unknown person on monday an unknown person grabbed 500 rupees from a pedestrian
Okay, this is my first information. On Monday, an unknown person grabbed 500 rupees from a pedestrian. Who is a pedestrian? Who is walking on the road? And I would like to give my conclusion for this sentence. And the thief is not yet. The thief haven't been caught yet. See, this is my actual information that I would like to deliver to you. According to the sin, according to the rule, what I what is the rule that is provided to me? To refer something which has already been mentioned. See, I already mentioned on Monday an unknown person. This is the person whom I mentioned, right? An unknown person grabbed 500 rupees from a pedestrian and the thief haven't been caught yet. So what, how am I indicating this person? I didn't say just thief. Thief haven't been caught yet. I didn't continue my sentence with, I didn't begin my sentence with thief. But I used one more word that is the. That means it is defining this person the thief so the thief indicates that i am defining the person who has already mentioned in my previous sentence earlier okay i watched a person walking on the street without proper dress i mean in ragged clothes i hope the man is a beggar Okay, I watched a man walking on the street in ragged clothes. I hope the man is a beggar or I hope the man was a beggar. The man. I saw a man. In my first sentence, it's like this. I saw a man. I saw a man walking I saw a man walking in ragged clothes I saw a man I saw a man yesterday walking in ragged clothes and I hope the man was the man was sorry the man is a beggar the man is a beggar okay if I'm stating this sentence the man is still alive so I'm taking ease so here using in this sentence I'm using multiple tense of course our concentration is not on tenses now so, uh, what I am doing here, this, in fact, this is my information that I am passing to my listeners. So, I saw a man walking in ragged clothes. And I am giving one more extra information about this man, a man. So, who is the person I am speaking about? About a man. And in my second sentence, I am giving the same information. And here, I didn't state that I hope a man is bigger. No, I hope the man is bigger. The means I am specifying this person in my second sentence. I have categorized this person. So, for this statements, for the rule to refer something which has already been mentioned. I already mentioned this particular person in my first sentence. Or I already mentioned about the person whom I am speaking in my beginning information. And when I am giving an extra information about the same particular person, I need not to mention him as a man. I can mention him as the man because I am specifying that person, particularly mentioning that he is that particular person. So for the particular things, we take the in front of them. I mean the particular nouns or pronouns are adopted by the before 
them or in front of them. So this is our first rule. Now can I give the example for this? So let's do the example. On Monday, on Monday, an uneven man grabbed money from a pedestrian. The thief, the thief Hasn't okay. I want to write it here. The thief hasn't been caught yet. The thief hasn't been caught yet. This is my example for this rule okay did you uh, did you understand this okay now let's go to the second rule the is used with the decades it is used with the decades what is a decade what is a decade decade is nothing but it is 100 years of celebration 100 years is called one decade is it not 100 years or 10 years yes 100 is whatever I say you should not believe you have to put me a question in between ma'am you are telling wrong so sometimes we trigger this type of techniques whether to find out whether the students are listening to us or not whether the students are concentrating in the class or not decade is actually it's decade is actually 10 years and 100 years means it is a century and 10 years is a decade how many decades do we have actually how many decades have we passed i passed three decades now i am more around 30 so i passed three decades see 1900 to 1910 is one decade 1910 to 1920 is another decade in that means how many years are left over in between 10 years and here also 10 years the class intervals between these two particular years is 10 the same as 10 so 10 years is called one decade okay one decade so now you understood here very clearly okay now i say that this is 70s okay 80s for example 1970 1970 i call it as the 70s is it clear if it is 1980 i call the 80s all right the 80s and 1980. is it clear okay now i hope you understood very clearly the 70s the 60s the 90s the 50s is all are called as decades so we use the in front of decades how do we say this she was born in 70s let me take the example she was born in 90s she was born in 90s that means in 19 1900s she was born she was born in 80s and he was born in 90s all right this is how we take the help of the okay i forgot to put something here she was born in the 90s the 90s or the 70s 
she was born in the 70s did you notice here in the above sentence the thief and here the 70s so here 70s is declared as a decade so in front of the decades in front of the names of the decades and in front of, uh, in front of the specific person in the second sentence we usually mention the okay but it's not a or an though we are speaking about a single person is it clear guys all right now let's see the third rule with the names of geographical areas with the names of geographical areas mountains countries canals oceans geographical areas mountains countries republics okay republics and canals oceans seas rivers also comes under this okay so in front of these particular names we use the for example when it comes to geographical areas this all comes under geographical areas you know this all comes under geographical areas in terms of their specification all right so mountains means about the mountain ranges see for this i can give some example the ants mountains the ants mountains are the largest mountain peak in the world okay the ants mountains are the largest mountain peak okay ants mountains ants is a specific name of a mountain so the has to be activated in front of the mountain ranges on the other hand the himalayas the himalayas are the highest mountain peak see my sentence the himalayas are the highest mountain peak the himalayas okay so these are few examples that we can discuss about the identification of mountains and coming to countries see my next example when you speak something about countries i would love to visit the united states of america so republics and countries comes under the same umbrella i would love to visit the united states of america or i like to instead of taking a valid lengthy sentence i liked to visit the united states of america usa means in front of all the abbreviations we can use the a i r a i r a i r what's the full form for a i r yes it's all india radio so it's not simple a i r it is the a i r means the all india radio okay next coming to countries the indians are kind hearted people the indians are talented let us take talent the indians are really talented the indians are really talented 
or the Indians are neutral accent people the Indians okay I am specifying here the category of a region region of people belong to one particular region the Indians that means the group I'm speaking about the group that's what we can discuss in our next point if I would like to speak about a particular group I have given the name to that group as with my country's name the name that matches with my country's name so I call the Indians okay and coming to the countries I would like to take one more example So, the USSR is a communist nation. So, the USSR, the USSR, United States of, U, sorry, Union Soviet Socialist Republic, the USSR or Russia is a communist nation so here near the country or near the republic i have placed the okay next in the same way in front of the continents the people who belong to one particular group the Africa, Africans are dark in color. The Africans are usually dark in color. Usually the Africans are dark in color. See, I have used the country name and along with the country name, I converted this into a group name, right? So, the is used in front of this type of particular nouns and coming to canals canals what's a canal a place where there is a source of a heavy water flow from one particular place to the other place that's called a canal okay it's a water supply source that's called a canal see in front of the names of the canals Indira Gandhi Canal in India. Indira Gandhi Canal. Jawaharlal Nehru Canal. Okay, I would like to give you the short form. Jawaharlal Nehru Canal. So, in front of these particular names, we are supposed to give the. The Indira Gandhi Canal. The Jawaharlal Nehru Canal and so on okay it's something like the Indira Gandhi canal is uh, producing or, or su supplying so this many tons of what this many uh, balloons of water to the fields which are around East Godavari and West Godavari so this is how we take the help of this particular words and use them in our sentences next coming to oceans and seas oceans how many oceans do we have according to the geography yes we have got what are those pacific ocean atlantic ocean arctic ocean Antla antarctic ocean and indian ocean how many oceans are there very good there are five oceans and how many continents do we have exactly seven continents and remember oceans are not seven and oceans are always five in front of the oceans names you have to use the for example uh, you, it can be something like um, our ship 
crossed the Atlantic in seven days. According to this, I can say our ship crossed the Atlantic in seven days. Our ship crossed the Atlantic in seven days. In seven days. So this is our actual sentence. Our ship crossed the Atlantic. The Atlantic is the name of an ocean. So we didn't mention it a Atlantic or an Atlantic because that is the name of an ocean. Always the article the activates there. So finally our ship crossed the Atlantic Ocean in seven days is one of the best examples for us for the oceans. Next, the Ganges is a holy river in India. The Ganges is a holy river in India. What's Ganges here? Very good, it's Ganga, the Ganga river or the river Ganga. The Ganges is the holy river in India. I didn't uh, write simply Ganges is a holy river in India. Okay, or I didn't, I need not to mention India also because we know very well that According to the geographical conditions, Ganges is a river that is present in India. So, I can simply stop my sentence till here. Ganges is a holy river. Okay. So, Ganges is a holy river. If I write like this, this becomes wrong. So, what are you supposed to add here? Very good. Article. The Ganges is going to be the correct part for your articles. And next. What, what could be the next for us? Yes, let us concentrate here. Okay, let us give some example for this. That is uh, for our third point. With the geographical areas, mountains, countries and canals, oceans and seas, we are supposed to use the, right? Let's give some example for this. The Ganges is a holy river okay now let us take the fourth point this is our fourth point to define or to identify a particular person or thing in a class or a sentence okay so to define or identify to identify a particular person or thing in a clause or a sentence. It could be in a clause or it could be in a sentence but the identification of a person. How? Let me, let me give you the example. The man who wrote this book is famous see this is my sentence that I jotted down the man who wrote this book is famous in this sentence the man when you concentrate on the man I didn't mention only man man who wrote this book is famous I didn't mention this like this I didn't begin my sentence with man and if I write like this this is going to be wrong because I have already identified this man I specified this man specifically I am defining this person so I have to use the in front of man so the man who wrote this person is the person who has written this book. This sentence states that this is the man who has written this particular book. So, in this sentence, this man 
has got identified right we have defined this man as the author of this book so we are say we are using the in front of man so finally the sentence is this the man who wrote this book is famous okay and one more sentence i would like to use for your comfortability this is with persons and what about with the things for example we have already declared in our sentence declared in the information in the point that to identify or define a particular person or thing now i finished identifying the person now okay now i am supposed to identify respective to things okay see i'm going to write my sentence like this i scratched the red car that okay i'm going to make my sentence very simple parked outside or if i would like to take that i can go for that got parked outside i scratched the red car parked outside some car got parked outside so what is the specification of that uh, car what is the identification yes it is a red car the identification is red car many cars must be present outside the gate but still in those among those cars my identification is to identify a particular scratched car so i happen to scratch that okay so for this what is supposed to use i have to mention the the red car have you seen a person with the blue shirt specification identification have you identified that particular person the person have you seen a person with the blue shirt so this is how we take the help of the in terms of identifying a person or a thing in my previous sentence i identified the man by means of the book the man who wrote this particular book is famous okay i'm not speaking about in terms of the man but in terms of the book i'm speaking here so i happen to identify this man by means of the book that is provided to me okay by means of the book that is provided the white boat is good to write the white boat is good to write okay is it clear which boat the white boat it's not simply white boat the i have specified it identified we might be having many boards green board black board and white board respective boards A among those boards i specified it specifically i have left you some information for identification that is white board so i have to use the as a definite article in front of white the white board is it clear okay now let's take the example for the fifth point okay let me jot down this example for you the red car met with an accident so this is my example the red car met with an accident all right now see my fifth sentence used with clauses introducing by only see sometimes we tend to have some examples that is the uh with particular word we can identify that is only used with clauses used with clauses introduced by only so sometimes some clauses are getting introduced with only 
and for those particular clauses we have to use the in front of them only son or only daughter only son only daughter but we don't say only husband only wife okay <laughs> so according to the law those are not accepted so only son and only daughter is accepted only tea only coffee only cookies so specifically we use such types of clauses even in the sentences in the clauses we use only especially in front of only we use the the only tea the only sun the only coffee <coughs> let me tell you let me give you examples how this is being used in sentences i am the only daughter to my mother okay i am the only daughter to my mother you want me to write more clearly yeah i'm going to do it definitely i am the only daughter to my mother see i have got a class daughter only daughter what's a class a group of words is called a class okay so likewise in a sentence we might come across with a single clause or more than one clause sometimes some sentences would be having two clause some sentences would be having three clause and some sentences may have only one clause whatever clause we take it in that clause if there is only and it is combined with a, a sentence clause or a word clause whatever it is in front of only try to add the that's all i am the only daughter to my mother so this is one of the examples 